everyone, and welcome to the Talk of the Town. It's me, Lynn About Town, Lynn Positin, and we are here live in sunny Clearwater, Florida, at the WTAN studios on Myrtle Avenue in downtown Clearwater. We are live on the radio, 1340 AM, 106.1 FM, and we are also live on Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Everyone tuned in. We're on YouTube. I mean, we are just... We are just all over the airwaves. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that song. Tom, our great sound engineer, found that for us. That was Frank Sinatra, and it's called The Coffee Song. And I love Frank Sinatra, and I never heard that song. So thank you, Tom. You definitely uh, have advanced my understanding and love of Frank Sinatra songs. So we are here today uh, with an incredible, wonderful girl who works for a local, very, very good, ethical, very good product company called Java Planet. Am I saying it right? Java Planet Organic Coffee? Yes. There you go. And Tiffany, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's All great right. to be here. Yeah, we're so glad to have you. I love nice people, and I love coffee. And if you guys could only... I, I, Look, I may be effusive and I may use a lot of adjectives and a lot of exclamation points, but I don't lie. The fragrance, the aroma in here is intoxicating. So Tiffany is here from Java Planet Coffee. So first I wanna ask you, what is your position with Java Planet? Basically, I'm in marketing. Um, I kind of do a little bit of everything, and so I kind of consider myself the assistant extraordinaire. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. My phone, you know what my phone calls me, goddess of all women. Oh. But I like that. Assistant, assistant extraordinaire. extraordinaire. Very good. You should tell your Siri to call you that. It'd be great. I should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And how long have you been with the company? Well, I had the pleasure of knowing Jennifer and Mike Simmons when they started the company. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mike, hi. by the way. <laughs> so Jennifer and Mike Simmons are the owners of Java Planet Coffee. They are an amazing couple, and uh, I actually met them through church. And Jennifer knew that I worked in public relations, and I mainly did copywriting. And she said, well, can you help me you know, with the descriptions of the coffee and our you know, marketing materials and so forth? And... Then, I mean, I, I already loved coffee, but I was the kind of person that I loved really dark coffee with lots of cream and sugar. And when I had the opportunity to taste this coffee, and of course, you know, I was tasting it black because I had to really taste the coffee and understand what the different tastes were, the undertones the notes, and so forth. Yes, and, yeah, and you're exactly. the one describing it as the marketer, so you right. definitely had to have that down. Exactly. And I remember tasting this one coffee called Ethiopian Harar. And Harar is a region in Ethiopia. And in this area, they happen to also grow a lot of blueberries. And this coffee was, even though it was a medium roast, which I was such a snob, I would only drink dark <laughs> roast. <been> there. <laughs> and I had this medium roast coffee that was the most flavorful thing I had ever tasted. And, I mean, you think, like, oh, wow, coffee that tastes like blueberries. But it doesn't taste no. like blueberries, but you can tell it's blueberries. Because it complements it, and it's, yeah. it's just without it, you would notice it be that it was gone. Right. So, anyway, so that's how I got started with Java Planet. And I've been friends with Jennifer and Mike for years, and Jennifer's even the godmother of one of my children and so forth. And so, more recently, the company has really expanded and Jennifer was like help please so so I came on board and I've just been having a ball because I really believe in what they're doing I believe in the ethicalness of organic and fair trade and rainforest alliance and bird friendly and so forth and and I love coffee well good we you just named four things we could talk about for sure I know